Scorecard, a program that extracts the activities, contribution, and achievement of our public officers. Today on the program, we are at uh, Papa Constituency One, uh, trying to see what the lawmaker of that constituency has done so far to the state, to the constituency, and to the constituents. My name is Umi Ayeni. I'm going to take this time out, and when I come back, you're going to be seeing me and my guests seated together. Just hang on a little bit. She's a woman that is so highly um, uh, reputed in the Lagos State House of Assembly, a grassroots politician, a woman that made it a point of duty to always go out of her primary assignment, out of her oversight functions, to still go back to, uh, to the grassroots, to attend to their basic needs. I'm talking about... Um, whip of the Lagos House of Assembly, uh, Honorable Chief Mrs. Omotayo. Uh, so nice having you on the program. <laughs> wow. Yes, um, you have been on the program previously, and that was some years back. And I can see a lot of improvements when we visited your constituency. Uh, what has been your, uh, your driving force to attain this feat? Uh, I give all glory to God. It's not as if uh, uh, I achieved that uh, feat uh, alone. It was a joint uh, development by the state government, by me, and with the support of my constituents. It was a joint uh, development. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. L let's look at it. the deputy whip of the University House of Assembly. W what does that office entail? It's like, uh, like you said, is <laughs> where we uh, is to whip members to other. <laughs> so whip members to other. It's just a principal office and. Uh, the deputy chief whip, uh, when the chief whip is not around, she steps into the shoes of the, the chief whip to act, and uh, she's the, the, the parliamentary secretary. Okay. When we have parliament parliamentary meetings, she acts as the secretary at parliamentary meetings, and uh, with our, our own code, in the house as regards the, the, the conduct of members we try to keep uh, members in, uh, in, check. in check that's just the, the, yeah the, the, the you know the it's actually the mandate belongs to the people it's the people that sort of the the, the, the they, they, they surrendered their mandate by voting for you because all everybody cannot be in this house at the same time. So it's the people, your constituents, that push you forward to go and represent them in that uh, uh, office. And uh, you don't have any other choice or to, to, to carry them along. To, you have to be passionate about the, the, their wish and the, their feelings about the, the development of, of your constituency. Now, now, now let's look at um, uh, those projects because, uh, well, of course, um, viewers, I'm, I'm going to let you into uh, what people say about uh, contributions to the development of the constituency and of course to the constituents. So now, talking generally, man, what are those things that you did or you, 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 you brought in to your constituency that you can say, okay, uh, I facilitated the, gov the, 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 gov the government of the states to do this to my constituency, and on my personal, um, uh, personal as a personal contribution, I have done this and that. 
the um, you, like I said, you are there on behalf of the people, and you, as a representative of the people, you have to go back to them all the time, ask for their contribution, their inputs, because uh, you cannot just go there and start taking decision unilaterally. You have to revert back to the people and ask what they want. Basically, my constituency is a rural area, and we need a lot of opening up. So the, the uh, basic needs there is good roads, schools, air facilities, uh, portable drinking water, just like in any other developed uh, areas. That's what they need. And uh, the major thing is we want the government to open us up so that people can start coming and going or bring more people into the constituency. And it's a, a developing constituency. So that is where people are trooping into either to buy land, to build their houses, to settle down. So it's a developing constituency and uh, the government, they have really tried and uh, they constructed some roads in my constituency. You have like Sherry, Jack on Day Road, you have uh, the Lasso Iba Road, you have the Gondo Road. If in Gondo Road was a, in a very deplorable condition, in fact, it was not a motorable at all. Before I came in, when, when I came in in 1999, it was not motorable at all. It, and it was one of the first projects the, uh, as the governor then, as Rajbala Tinumbu, did in that uh, constituency. And uh, the impact of that road really helped development in uh, that of that community or the constituency in general. And uh, we still need some more roads. I, my job will not be complete until about two, three more routes, uh, major routes are, are, are done. We have like a Kotun, a Sherry Ocean Road. We have a Kesson Road. And the major one is uh, Ijegun Jagemo Road. That's a very gigantic uh, project. My own side of the cost, because I share constituency with another honorable member from Ojo. My own side is a dry land, but the other constituency is a swampy area that is going to go up a lot of money. So the government, they promised to start doing it in batches because it's going to involve building bridge of, over the swampy area and that will be my best day when that road is constructed. On a personal basis, I just tried in my own little way to assist the people from my post. Um, I was able to give uh, uh, assistance to women, to youth, and uh, to provide portable water, drinking water for my constituency. And it's, an, it's still an ongoing thing, as my post, post dictates a job, a sort of a skill for them, teach them skills, let them learn how to do some things with their hand. And uh, at the end of the day, you assist in your own way for a take of grant. And the same thing with the women, because the uh, women, they contribute the larger part of uh, politics or politicians. And uh, during raining season, they are there. Sunny season, they are there. They are always there. 
and you saw what happened at the meeting. Women, so they really need a lot of uh, assistance just to get something doing so they too can uh, assist their family, contribute their own quota to the development of their own homes or bringing up of their children. All right. Um, by our own estimation, this is the last question yesterday. We asked um, uh, all the people we talked to to kind of give you their own marks out of 10. The out of 10, <laughs> we asked them to give you to score your performance. Uh, uh, here is in performance or performances yesterday. Now, I'm going to ask you that. Yeah, I will not tell you the, the marks they gave to you so far, but now on your on your own in your own view, how would you score your performances so far? Ah, uh, so far, so good. I have uh, tried to, to 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 do my best, but I can still do more. There are so many things that we can still do, but. That will depend on the pulse of the government on or how the uh, money comes in. It's when people pay their taxes, that's the, with the, what the government puts back into the development of uh, uh, communities. And uh, so we just implore people to pay tax, continue to support the government, and thank God we have a listening governor so who is always very passionate about the needs of their people of the people and uh, is really doing a lot for at the state level and i'm happy i'm happy but it can still get better so nice talking to you on the program yeah. thank you very much all right so um, when we started on this segment I told you we visited her constituency, we spoke to some people, and um, let's go straight down to what actually happened when we visited uh, her constituency, that's talking about Ali Mosho constituency too, here in Lagos. See you at the other side. Has been a very pleasant uh, representative. She's been there and she's experienced. So there is no way you can have someone that is experienced in uh, our capacity and will not affect and reflect in people's life. So she has done wonderfully well and she has impacted in the lives of our people, her constituents. Uh, of recent, uh, His Excellency Mr. Akimumi Ambode himself confirmed that uh, when someone mentioned about the Jagemo Road, if he personally mentioned that there has been pressure from our representative, Honorable Omotai Odunton, concerning the plight of, of our people in the area. So I would say she has been present and she has been doing well in that regard. Tell from 10, I would say she's now a little above average. Yeah. People are solidly behind her to come back. Of course she will win if she comes back. And I believe she's coming back because we we'll really miss her if she leaves, but I know she will not leave now. If I give her 10, I'm being sentimental, but I'll give her 95.